Hey, welcome to this Windows 10 channel and this is a quick observations, um, not really a review since it's pretty much the same thing as the past few builds, but more observations and comments about the new build and also, um, you know, some of my personal observations also about what's going to happen. So basically, uh, we've got a new build of Windows 10 late yesterday, July 12th, uh, same day as Patch Tuesday. So we got built 14388 released um, by Microsoft. You have to be an insider in the fast ring to get these. And basically, um, if you want to make sure that you've got it, simply use the Win -ver or Windows version command. You should see uh, version 1607 built 14388. So, um, one first observation, a lot of you have been saying that you've been stuck at older builds. Make sure that you download the image of the latest build that there is, install it from scratch, and then from there, um, get into the Insider uh, build, Fast Ring, make sure you're in Fast Ring. Uh, about two days, 48 hours after you've installed the build, you should see new builds popping up. Uh, unfortunately, it does happen. It happened to me in the, some older build where I didn't have uh, insider builds. Uh, also, um, where I did have them, but they couldn't install correctly. So, um, that's being an insider. It might mean you have to reinstall with a later build and then restart the uh, build uh, fast ring and check it out. Uh, it should appear after about two days that you've reinstalled your Windows Insider machine. Um, of course, no new features, so don't think about it. Uh, really nothing new. It's bug fixes this time. Uh, and Donna Sarkar did say that uh, 44 fixes were uh, done in this build compared to 13.385, and that they um, fix a bunch of all sorts of improvements, reliability, battery life improvements, accessibility improvements. Um, some of the things that it fixed um was also um the um tpm driver crash could result in a, a device bug check and uh, you would have a blue screen basically and a restart uh narrator could not read time and date correctly um there's also f narrator was uh shortcut was kind of uh, a problem and um Apart from that, there was an update to the store, but it looks pretty much the same. It's more of a update for reliability and everything. So, um, store was updated slightly. Um, what do we have also? One of the things that um, I, I did see, but it doesn't seem to be here in Canada, maybe, uh, is that in extensions in the um, Edge browser, when you go to get extensions from the store, uh, apparently a new um, Amazon extension appeared, but I don't have it here, so I guess it could be local to the United States right now. But uh, if you look here, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 12 extensions right now. Adblock, Adblock Plus, Evernote, um, so on, you know. Interesting to see the, uh, the extension slowly adding to Edge. Uh, one issue I had with Edge is when I actually have more than one tab open uh, after I try to close the tabs I've noticed that the first tab sometimes just um, the first tab sometimes just stays dark and I can't close edge so I've had to use the um, task manager to end task so this is a problem I reported to the uh, feedback hub and by the way a lot of you have been having issues also with um, you know display Apparently, some of you have display scaling problems. Things are not showing up right. Um, so different little issues. Remember that when you have a problem in an insider preview, you have the feedback of, and it's very important, report your problem here. It's um, important to tell everybody what you have as a problem. Make sure that uh, you write a little feedback telling them exactly what's happening. Um, that will help make this build as best as possible. Um, now, when is, uh, so, you know, a lot of you have been asking, so is this a release candidate? It's not. 
and we're still in bug fix mode and by the way there are a few bugs that are noted for these uh, this build we still have a few bugs for iPerV firmware there's still a bug for non US English language where you get error code 80x80004005 um, if you've got that enabling developer mode there's a fix go on the Windows uh, insider and check it out there's a fix done how to uh, to change things there now of course insider previews are uh, still gonna come and um, I wouldn't be even surprised there's another one tonight you know there's uh, they're, they've been really working very hard on um, fixing and um, sending out these builds as we're really really close to the official release candidate so I would, you know, and we're still expecting the, re the official release candidate for Insiders to be this week. That means it could be, you know, any time from tonight to Friday or even a Saturday build. Um, who knows, maybe early next week. But for now, pretty much everybody's still thinking it's this week. Um, you know, we're two weeks and a half away from August 2nd. August 2nd, for those that are not insiders and are watching this video, well, that's when you guys will get all these new features that we're having right now. And uh, so two weeks and a half away is very, very close date. So um, that's why, you know, these builds are coming in at a very fast pace. And Donna Sarkar has been really, really cool. Uh, if, you, if you have a Twitter feed, uh, follow, um, follow Donna Sarkar. Um, head of Insiders team. It's uh, really cool. She's, she seems like a great uh, great lady and uh, she um, really, really uh, gives all the details and answers. Takes the time to answer a lot of questions on the Twitter feed, by the way. It's very surprising. Uh, it's something I was not uh, thinking would happen. And um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, she, she, she tells you immediately when new builds are available and so on. So, you know, I check her feed very regularly to make sure that, um, you know, to see if there's new insider builds and all. So, uh, apart from that little bug from Edge, I don't have too, ma too much complaints here. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, and uh, we're going to continue on checking out the builds and, um, you know, follow our channel. As soon as the uh, anniversary update official build is here, we'll be, uh, we'll be talking about it. Uh, once again, thank you all that um, you know, told me how you found so great the fact that I've been posting videos of the new features in the anniversary update and uh, look for more of them. More of these videos are coming up so I'll be posting a lot of them so when August 2nd appears and you get the anniversary update you'll already have a lot of videos explaining new features and how to uh, use your Windows 10 operating system with the new anniversary update. Uh, I think uh, that's another cool thing. So uh, you guys are, are great. Thank you all also for those that uh, have you know taken the time to uh, let me know. A new build was available yesterday while I was not home. I was uh, celebrating with a friend's uh, we, with a friend's birthday, and it was pretty cool. So uh, check it out. New videos are coming up for sure, and um, take a look at uh, your updates in the Insider previews. Uh, we never know when a new update might pop up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up, and hopefully you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.